guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. If you guys are new here, please be sure to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you guys will be notified when I post new videos. In today's video, you guys can already tell by the title, I will be showing you guys what three day old hair looks like. Before I go any further, I do want to give full credit to a Makeup by Pita and Tina Young. I've said in the previous video that I filmed like this before that I did get all my inspiration from them too. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I want to say that I have not washed my hair. This is the third day. Um, I don't think you guys can tell really, but it's kind of like to that point where it'll like kind of like split but um i did want to show you guys what three day old hair looks like i asked you guys on instagram if you guys rather see this or what makeup brushes look like and the majority of you guys voted dirty hair so i'm gonna put that up on the screen if you guys don't follow me on instagram already be sure to do so i always have it linked down below in the description box so it's easy for you guys to just click on the link and then go follow me on instagram i do also have a snapchat and a twitter also linked down below so if you guys want to follow me on there Go ahead and do so i do have all my equipment on the right side over here so i am going to be looking this way so also let me know down in the comments what other videos you guys want to see with me using this microscope i am going to leave this link down below that way if any of you guys want to purchase this and see for yourself what's in your face makeup hair whatever then you guys can go ahead and do so so i'm going to go ahead and start Okay, you guys, so it has started. I'm going to show you guys. First, I'm going to show you guys, like, down here what my hair looks like. Um. Oh, God. My strands look pretty thin, I think, compared to, like, other videos that I've seen. I feel like their um, hair looks just a lot thicker. And obviously, just depends. But I do have really, really thin hair and just, like, really fine. So, yeah, there's not really too much to see. Let's kind of see if I can see like my dead ends or something okay it doesn't look too bad or too damaged honestly okay moving up closer to my scalp i still haven't really like dug into my scalp or like shown you guys really what's in my scalp so okay it doesn't look that bad it feels so oily though like honestly so right here you guys can kind of see that like my um hair just has like a lot of little like little dots or like little gunk kind of stuck on each strand okay so i'm gonna open up my scalp ew what now i don't my scalp my hair like right there and then kind of show you guys because i feel like it's kind of oily right there ew oh right there ew oh my god like where my hair is growing from what is that what is that are you guys seeing this it just looks like it was like sprinkled with something like I guess is that dandruff too or something you guys this is so gross so I've like parted it all weird I look so weird I know but I'm gonna see if there's like any more gunk on this side oh the hair looks a lot thinner here it looks pretty scary honestly my um, actual scalp looks really white too Ew, what is that? There's like a nasty hair on the bottom left. Bottom left, right there. That looks like the root of it is just full of gunk. So I wonder if the back of my hair, like the way back here, looks any cleaner. I bet you it does. It looks really thin back here too. My hair is really thin. Oh my god, what is that? Is that like a vein or something? So I have like this little um, thing on my head here, which is kind of like, um, I don't know if it's like a little mole type of thing, but I can always feel it. One time I tried to look for it and it just looked red. So I'm gonna try to find that for you guys and then show you guys under the microscope what that looks like. Okay guys, I look a little crazy because I have to flip my hair so that I can actually see it. But after digging in my hair for like, I don't know, three minutes straight, I think I found it. Ah! Oh, you guys, there it is. So, yeah, that little thing is on my head. It's like a red mole or something. It'll, I couldn't move all the hair out of the way. I thought I did, but, I mean, you guys can see that there's, like, a bunch of hair blocking it and stuff. But, um, that thing is on my head. It kind of grosses me out and scares me a little bit. But, I mean, what am I going to do? I can't take it off. So, yeah, that's what that looks like. I think the hair, ew, the hair follicles is like the scariest thing in the world. 
Look at that right there. What is that? What am I seeing? Okay. You guys, how am I going to get that out of my hair? What is that? Look how gross my hair is right in the front here. I think this is like the part that collects like the most oil in comparison to like the back here or even like the rest of your hair here. It's crazy just to see like how many tiny little hairs there are and then like the thicker ones. So there's just a lot of really thin hair. Okay, so next I wanted to show you guys what dry shampoo actually does to your hair or like to your scalp. It's what we're more worried about because that's like the most oily oiliest area and then I'm also gonna spray hairspray in my hair just to see what that looks like so I know that dry shampoo is not necessarily to clean your hair but it's kind of like to um I don't know it let's see what let's see what it says that it does okay so this is the dry shampoo by Dove I am like halfway done with this probably um so this is what it says it says volume and fullness dry shampoo instantly absorbs oil in between washes dry shampoo is a convenient way to refresh and revive your hair on days when you don't wash your hair it can be oily limp and weighed down the weightless formula cleans and refreshes to transform your hair from lifeless to bouncy with just a few quick sprays okay that's enough so I'm just gonna very quickly spray this um, I'm gonna try to do it you know the correct way which is just spraying it about 12 inches from your head right and then I'm gonna brush it out so sorry if my head looks so flat I feel like yeah because it's so dirty so I feel like right off of the bat it does look cleaner I couldn't even brush this out I sprayed like way too much so I'm gonna start off over here where I actually did an okay job Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It almost looks just the same. Ew, what the heck is that on my hair? Okay, so here it is, like right in the middle. You can see like little white specks, I think. It's not that bad. It's still, my scalp looks super oily still. Despite the dry shampoo, I feel like it looks gross still. And I know it's not going to look 100%, you know, nice. But, ew, you guys. So I don't, overall I don't think it has picked up much of the oil because I think that's like all oil or like dandruff maybe. So I'm going to go right here where I wasn't able to brush it out completely. You guys can see right here it just looks white so I'm just going to see, I'm just curious to see how that looks too. Ew, oh my god. So much white stuff. I mean obviously it was going to look like this especially because I didn't brush it out correctly there's like a big piece of something in my hair what is this you guys what is that but yeah look at that i don't think that this dry shampoo is picking up any of the oil it's actually leaving more gunk in my hair than what i started with to be honest and obviously here it just looks a lot worse than over here but even over here like there's little white pieces of something and it just doesn't really look clean at all you see like there's all these little white specks and i don't remember seeing those at the beginning okay so now i'm just gonna spray my hair pretty much like at the root and just kind of everywhere with this um rave four times mega unscented hairspray so i'm just spraying it all over i'm parting it here and then spraying it i don't know how healthy this is i'm obviously gonna go wash my hair after this you guys so now i'm gonna open it here and just show you guys what this um uh, it does look wet i think in a way because all this is like pretty wet oh you see right there how like the strands are like sticking together kind of well that's because it's wet right there okay nice nice well gross but cool i guess yeah that's what hairspray kind of looks like so not too crazy i was more surprised with the nasty dry shampoo so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off all right you guys so overall that was pretty gross you guys saw it let me know down below what was the nastiest part that you guys thought you saw um to me it was like those big white specks when i put in the dry shampoo which clearly this did not do what it said it did not absorb the oil um 
whenever I kind of like look at it just like this, it looks okay. But obviously under a microscope, we're able to see exactly what it does. And I just feel like it did not pick up any of the oils, especially the ones like in my follicles. So yeah, I don't think that worked. And as far as the dirty hair under a microscope, it wasn't too dirty. I mean, you guys saw there was pieces that were really gross and just pretty much the scalp and the oils in there is what was really nasty. But um, let me know down below what other videos you guys want me to film using the uh, microscope. Remember, this can zoom 1,000 times. Also, I am leaving it linked down below in the description box so that you guys can purchase one if you guys would like to see what's in your hair, makeup, I don't know, anything that you guys want to see. So we are almost at 1,000 subscribers, you guys, and at 1,000, I will be doing a giveaway, so thumbs up this video if you guys are excited for that, and if you guys have not already subscribed, please do so so that we can hit 1,000 even faster. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.